Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fry Speaking here. And today I'm going to show you how I have built this cute little hobbit house. It is part of my flower series where I try to build houses in The Sims 4 inspired by flowers. And you guys can vote what flower I'm going to build next. So this time I decided that we actually needed a more green looking house because I've already built like a blue one for the bluebell, a yellow one for the sunflower for example and two of my viewers had the really really awesome idea that I could build a hobbit house which is like green and then maybe dedicated to the ferns that we have in the sims 4 game and I love the idea so much and I tried to do it with the ferns first but then at the end because these cute little hobbits are like living in these houses that are like built in the hills of Hobbiton, their home. And yeah, I mean, what is on hills? Of course, grass is on hills and we have so many grass objects in the Sims 4 that I dedicated it to the grass, I would say, which is not technically a flower, I know, but I really wanted to, you know, maybe use all of the flower objects or plant objects that we have in the game. So um, this one is dedicated to the grass and it looks like a little hobbit house. I really, really like it. It's pretty cute and um, yeah, I hope you like it too. So first I experiment a little bit off camera how I could achieve the hill look. So it looks like a little tiny hill with the house like built into it and with the round roofs that we have in game this was really doable but I had to cut a little bit in the video because I had to adjust the roof size a little bit so it is really playable inside because sometimes the round roofs cut into the interior and then you can't really see anything even though you have like the walls down like to the lowest I would say option or something like this so yeah I did that off camera and tried to decorate it a little bit so I had to go back and forth into live mode and into build mode so it is really playable and that you can really play with it in game but it turned out pretty really great and I really really love it so I have waited a little bit for this build to do because I already had like a test and without the get together expansion pack it was really really hard to do the very you know enchanted whimsical Tudor medieval style and now that I have the get together expansion pack with the more soothing objects and wallpapers and so on it was absolutely perfect for that so I started to build this house so it was perfect I really really loved doing this and I used a lot a lot of the objects from the new expansion pack and yeah um, I hope you like it guys. I had to use the grass here at the end to hide a little bit the edges from the hills which are technically the roofs. So it really looks like a hill I would say. There's going to be a lot of grass around it to hide the roofs and all the edges that I've created with it. And then of course I put some of the grass on top of the roofs and it's absolutely playable so your grass is not cutting through the I would say rooms and so on and I really was very very I would say precautious and I really had to make sure that it's playable like this because these round roofs they make a lot of trouble in The Sims 4 but um, I managed it somehow I managed it don't ask me why or how I did it somehow I could do it so um, yeah I hope you like it this house is basically just one house but it's pretty pretty big so it is very easy for you guys if you want to have like more than two sims living there to adjust it and maybe like do the living room a little bit smaller for example and yeah so this is like for two sims now I've tested it with four and two sleeping on the couches and so on it was fine but if you want to play it like with more of your hobbit sims for example or maybe some fairies i mean fairies could live there too yeah that's totally doable and it doesn't even take you like a lot of work to separate like the rooms i would say so i did a lot of work outside of course because it really had to look like a little hobbit home or like farm somehow so i made a little garden farm area where my hobbits are growing some pumpkins that i got from the spooky stuff pack i really really like that one or the idea with the pumpkins i don't know why but i think they look so so cute the pumpkins and i hope you like the idea that they have like a little um, i don't even know how it's called like a little cross area in English crop area 
planting area, something like this. So yeah, I made this little thing and I thought it looks pretty really cool because I had some space outside and of course I'm going to do like lots and lots of, um, I would say, little gardens around it, separated by stones so it looks a little bit more tidied and I would say like tended because, you know, hobbits are pretty housey people. Do you say it like this? They are very into like making their houses very comfortable and cozy and they like to stay there which is like the feeling that I got from watching the movies and reading the books when I was a child so yeah um, that's what I wanted to accomplish here too it is not an exact replica from the house um, from the movies or the books where there are like drawings and so on so this is like my Sims 4 version how a Hobbit house could look like if you are like a hardcore fan I'm sorry I really couldn't I would say like replicate the exact house of Bilbo or Frodo here so I'm sorry for that but I hope you still like it guys and uh, yeah um, it was uh, so much fun because I used like lots and lots of these objects when they get together and this is why it took me about I would say four hours to build it and I would say like I recorded three hours of this because one hour was like the uh, adjusting the roofs and mixing and matching like the objects that I really wanted to use. The windows for example was really really hard for me because we don't have like the typical round door in the game but we have some round windows but these round windows aren't the same wooden color that all the other windows have so I had to you know change a little bit here and make like some adjustments so there are not so many round windows and doors there but uh, maybe we get them in future packs I don't know. <laughs> hopefully then I will do another hobbit house of course. As always in the interior I started with the kitchen and I wanted it to look very I would say medieval as if it is like for the movie for example if like somebody asked me to do like the set design this is how I would like have done it. So there is like a really really big kitchen I just assumed because in the movies and in the books I could remember because it was like some time ago that I've watched the movies and even longer time that I've read like the book so I'm sorry but aren't hobbits like very into like hoarding food and so on so I wanted it to have like a very very big kitchen so they can hang out in the kitchen a lot and like cook and talk about food and I don't know do stuff with food I don't know I just assumed that hobbits are like foodies so maybe if you create some sims that are hobbits you could give them the trade foodie which is pretty cool I've already created some hobbits too and they live there so for testing this house and that everything works really fine and yeah so so um, the big kitchen has these really really big two tables in the middle and your sims can sit there and even like talk to each other even though they're sitting on like different tables so it is really a functional big table there as a dining room area divided with a little um, I would say kitchen island and yeah so I put like lots and lots of stuff there I couldn't use so many wall cabinets in the kitchen because I had to use or I had to use these really big cool windows but I used some shelves so it looks a little bit more cluttered again of course be aware that I do clutter a lot so this build is like cluttered up to the I don't know to the max <laughs> <laughs> so it is very very detailed again very realistic I am you, you know that I like to build very uh, detailed always and yeah this is like very cluttered again too used lots and lots of objects from the show hidden objects cheat from the debug mode like some fishes the, these fish trophies for example and like ugh, I don't even know like some jars from the alien stuff and you know stuff that I think suited like the the whole build here it looks very medieval it has of course no technical stuff I would say not even like the the lamps are like candelabras and chandeliers only with candles and so on so everything is lit very very nicely with these orange yellow lights it looks really really cozy I really like it and the interior walls I did separately so you didn't see it how I have done them but usually I only use the basic I would say 
medieval Tudor wallpaper and then I adjusted them. If there is like a door for example then I used some diagonal wallpapers to make it look more interesting. I mix, I mix the match a little bit so um, it doesn't get too boring but I like it very much. I think it looks very cozy like this. I really like the new wallpaper that I got from this expansion pack. Really really loving it. So now it is really possible to create like lots and lots of medieval stuff. Maybe some castles or some forts or of some sorts. I think it um, is really really cool if you are into the medieval looking builds <laughs> and gameplay and yeah I really like it. It was quite interesting to do this and it was perfect for my flower series since I like to build very modern usually or futuristic and I created the flower series so I am forced to do more traditional builds and more like dollhouse cute looking houses and this was perfect for it. It was really perfect for it. It was outside of my comfort zone. I really loved furnishing it of course and yeah so your sims are going to have like this really really big kitchen a small little bathroom with just a bathtub because I assume they don't have like really showers I mean do have hobbits showers I don't know but I just assume they don't have showers <laughs> So they have a bathtub there and a little, I would say, library section, a go-through section with lots and lots of bookcases there and of course a little bedroom which is going to be at the end of this build and a really really cool large living room so if you want to have like more sims living there you can easily like separate a part of the bigger living room and make a little bedroom there as well this is totally possible and yeah totally doable and i hope you like it it is very cluttered like i said if you want to download it for your game i will have put the direct link to that to the gallery in the video description below and you can also find it in the gallery under Hobbit Green or my EA account ID is improved and yeah lots and lots of other hashtags for example of course Hobbit House and Green and Grass and Flower Series you know stuff like this so you can really find it in the gallery because I had some um, complaints that you guys couldn't find it really in the gallery so I'm using lots and lots of hashtags now and yeah I hope you don't mind that I clutter it, clutter it up so much and that it's so detailed but I really loved it it's really, really cool and I like to look at it a lot and played like a long time with this here with my little Hobbit sims and it was amazing. I have seen that like lots and lots of people have already created a hobbit house through the gallery. I've seen that there are of course some hobbit houses already. So this is like my version now. It was very much fun doing this. It was cool. Maybe it is even possible to do like a starter hobbit house which would be cool as well. Maybe like a micro home of some sorts. This could be... Oh, this could be interesting. I'm onto something here. And maybe I do this. So yeah, um, I hope you like it. Stay tuned till the end of the video because there will be tons and tons of screenshots for you so you can really have a good look at it. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Maybe write me in the comments if you have seen the movies or read the books or both and if this is like a hobbit house, is this really like looking like a hobbit house to you? I hope so. This is my version of it and I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye!